Everyone, welcome back. And today we are going to discuss about our page object model creation in our TypeScript with Cucumber Cloud. Okay, why we need to create our page objects? See, basically, when you see this code, okay, here we can able to see there are so many like uh, hard coding values like locators. Here we have locator, and again we have the locator again here. That means they are duplicate. As a automation side, we should not create any duplicate codes and we need to create a reusable functions or reusable locators. Okay. These are the two things we need to do to reduce in the code duplication. Then how we can able to and why page object model only can do that. See, page object is nothing but we can able to create the locators and function into separate. Directly we can call it and we can reuse it. That way we can able to reduce the code seeing in the front side. When you click the scenario, when you click something in the scenario, automatically it will navigate and here we can see a lot of coding. We should not see the coding like this. We can reduce the code very less. That moment we can able to reduce that as well. Even this space uh, loggers right even this also we can able to move into that location that way we can able to reduce our most of the code in that particular location see now here we are used for the loggers the logging place also right this all the code we can able to uh, send into one location you can see that very less coding stand okay and the simple way i'll create for one folder inside my test one okay and here I use sorry not file I will create for folder called page objects. Okay, this is my folder and inside my folder I'll create for a login a page dot dot ts. Okay, this is mine. Okay, and here I'll create for class export a default class as a login a page okay this is my class okay and here i'll uh, import some import uh from playwright test i'll import for page okay because we need to import this and uh, if you want, we can import this. Otherwise, this is also not required because what will happen? We are using for our page in a page fixer, right? That page fixer we need to access for async enter user name. Okay, this is my username. User as a string type of value it will expect, and this is my function. I'll do for await page fixes dot page dot locator and this locator it will expect for one thing and this is will expect for user right and what locator we need to store and this locator i'll create for one private and there is a element section elements and equal to and array for uh, json format i will create user underscore locator Okay, and this locator I can able to bring it from here. We can directly call this entire things paste into two here. Okay, and then I have password underscore locator and one of this I can bring this my entire things. Okay. paste it okay now for this what we can do and here this dot elements dot user locator okay this is the one okay and again i'll pass it for here and one more thing that is called a password purpose password I'll mark it as a password this way as well. Okay. And this particular password I'll pass into here. 
and this locator is basically I'm going to show this particular one. Okay. And here I can even you can use for this fixer as well. This as well to make sure that to reducing purpose and directly I'll pass it. Okay. And same thing I can pass for password as well. Okay. Now simplest way we can do done. For these two, I'll make it for one particular function. Okay. A sync. Uh, enter user name and password. This is my simplest one. Username as string. Password as a string. Okay. You can keep it for any also. Any data type also. It will work the same format. Okay. This dot enter username and it will ask for username and here this dot a password and again it will expect for password. Okay, and we need to use for await is the mandatory because if you are not use await, sometimes it will impact for the coding wise. Okay, now you can see right we are able to turn. Yeah, I'll come back here. I create my page object. Um, constant login page equal to a new login page. Okay, this is my page, and I'm going to copy this object name, and I'll uh, mark here a wait page dot enter username and password okay and it will accept expected for two values that we need to paste it here because two are string values right okay now we are able to reduce this right the similar format even here also you can just you can copy paste this paste it here and these both the values we need to change because it will come from another place okay now you need to see right the simplest way we reduced see comparing to that much of coding and we simply reduce the code. even he can able to use this as well clicking purpose we can use for another function called submitting purpose and this I'll copy cut this one and come back here mark comma and here submit locator colon and paste it okay now we are able to submit it also and here we can create for a single function a sync submit Okay, and it will not expect for anything and just you can copy this line of code, bring it here and paste and this locator, this dot elements dot submit locator. Okay, done. See, simplest way and just we can call it here using this particular function dot submit okay now see very simple it reduced for line of code seeing in this particular place what exactly you are using that you can able to understand even sir duplicate code also it is reduced just we are creating the function that function we are calling okay whether we are able to do it or not we can see I'll run this particular one. And one more thing, uh, after run, I'll show that. Okay. Maybe you will get for failure. Okay. Now it is open for two browsers. 
is done my test case got passed right what i have done and what you will get the failure why you will get the failure why i am not getting okay here is the one browser.ts file and here previous i just i have mentioned for this particular name and whenever we want to pass we need to use in the command line is a browser and then we need to pass as a chrome right now doing that just i use it for double for, uh, pipe symbols and then in double quotation on the chrome i have mentioned in case if you pass in the command line you will get the that particular browser it will open if you are not passed automatically it will pick for chrome okay default browser purpose okay that i have changed that's why i'm not get the failure i'm able to get for pass okay in, in your case maybe you will see some failure but in our case maybe it is not failure, okay this way you can create for n number of steps n number of steps even loggers also you can reduce to display here as well you can use inside the function and you can reuse it that way it will reduce for most of the times okay thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues